video, I'll be showing you how we can accept recurring payments or subscription using Gravity Forms through Stripe. Now, the first thing that you need to do is, of course, integrate Gravity Forms with Stripe, in which I have already discussed in my previous video. So now let's jump on creating a new form that we can offer a subscription to our users. So I'll be calling this form Recurring Payments made with Gravity Forms. Now in this form, there are three things that you need to include in order for Gravity Forms to pass the data to Stripe. The first one is the email section that you can find under the advanced fields. And one is the product field in which the users can select which product or subscription that they wanted to subscribe on to your website. And lastly, the credit card field. Now you may, you might want to make these fields required so that the users will be notified if they have forgotten to fill up this field. And second, you might want to change the product field type into a dropdown so that users can select which product subscription that they wanted to subscribe on. Or just in case you have multiple products to offer for all your customers. So I'll be naming my first product a one month subscription with a $1 price. Second one is the two months subscription for $2. Now you can add as many fields as you like in here, but these three main fields are the only things, or the only fields that are required for Gravity and Stripe to actually pass data from each other. So once you're done with the form, just click update and go to settings and then Stripe. So notice I have two products that I can offer to my customers, which is the one month subscription and the two month subscription. So in here, we can add as many Stripe feeds as we want, as long as we have those conditional logics. So I'm going to create my first conditional logic or Stripe feed that I can pass on to Stripe. So I will be naming the first feed as the one month subscription a video camera converts the picture into a television signal. payment and select the transaction type as subscription now for the recurring amount you might want to select the product field that we've just added on the form and change the billing cycle to one month you can add a setup fee in here you can have this enabled and select the field if you have added a field in the form that has the setup fee amount. Or you can add a trial date in which Stripe will be informed when to bill the customer for their next invoice. Now on the customer information, you have to select the email field that you have just created within the form. And on the conditional logic, since I have two products, I will be enabling this. And this feed will only process if the product name is one month subscription. So once you're done, just click update settings. Now, the feed for the one month subscription payment is already done and I'll be adding the feed for the two month subscription, which is exactly the same as what I did here. The only difference is on the billing cycle, 
since it's a two-month subscription, the billing cycle will be two months. And on the conditional logic, this feed will only process if the product is two-month subscription. So now everything is set. Let's go ahead and check if the feed is actually passing the data from Gravity Forms to Stripe. A video camera converts the picture. And let's select a one month subscription. And let's hit submit. So now the submission has been passed from Gravity Forms and now let's check on our Stripe account if the transaction did went through. Now let's go back to our Stripe dashboard and under billing you can see subscriptions. As you can see here, the transaction that we just did with my email address and the product in it is actually processed with Stripe. So as I scroll down, you can see that the next invoice that I will be receiving will be on November 11. And that is one month from now. And that's it. You are You now have a fully functional recurring payment or subscription system using gravity forms with stripe let me know if you have any questions or suggestions that you can add within this video just leave a comment below thank you